Have you ever needed to create sequence numbers that restart for each group in Excel? Doing it manually is slow, messy, and easy to mess up. Here, I'll show you two easy ways for solving this task. Method 1. Formula. Click on the first cell, where you want the number. Then, type this formula. The dollar sign locks the starting point, while the range expands downward. This lets Excel count how many times the group has appeared so far. Press Enter key to get the first result. Double-click the fill handle to apply it to other cells. Now, you can see, the numbers for each group automatically increase from 1, 2, 3, and so on. Method 2. Power Query. This is the pro way because it stays organized even if you sort, or add thousands of rows later. First select your data range. Go to the Data tab. Click from Table, Range Command. In the Prompt box, click OK. In the Power Query Editor window, select the column you want to use as the grouping basis. Then right-click it, choose, Group by, from the context menu. Select the column name you want to base the numbering on. Specify a name for the new column. Select, All Rows, option from the Operation drop-down. Click OK button. Back in the Power Query Editor window, click Add Column. Custom Column. Then, enter this formula into the, Custom Column Formula, box. Count, is the name of the grouped table from the previous step. Then, click OK. Now, remove all the other columns, and keep only the new one you just created. Right-click the name of the last column you created, select, Remove Other Columns. Then, expand this column, click the Expand icon next to the column title. Select the Expand option, ensure all column names are checked, and uncheck Use Original Column Name as Prefix. Finally, click OK. You now have a standard table, where each group has its own sequence column, starting from 1. At last, load the results back into Excel. Click Home tab. Close Load. The numbered results will be returned to Excel as a new table. Each group gets its own independent serial number column, starting from 1 and increasing sequentially. Whenever the source data is added or updated, simply click Refresh and all serial numbers will be regenerated automatically. For small datasets, use COUNTIF for quick numbering, while for large and frequently updated datasets, let Power Query handle everything in one click. Choose the method that best suits your needs. Like and follow to learn more practical Excel tips.